fuck wants to be poor knowing that's how we've been raised society is getting heavy I can hey guys um so i wanted to do a quick video because i had um repressed one of well a couple of my things today um so i wanted to show anybody that don't know how i know a lot of people know how and they have new things to do it with and <clears throat> actual stuff you can buy to do it but i'm gonna show you guys the basic you know alcohol fixing your eyeshadow so this one that i did was a wet and wild one it's my contour one it's in my project pan as you can see i hit pan right here <laughs> But I still really love this and wanted to get a lot more uses out of it. Um, the contour shade, you can see that I'm about ready to. You can see the little bumps. Um, but I didn't really mess with that one because it's not showing yet. <laughs> so the first thing I did is I just grabbed a little old tool. Anything will work pretty much. And start, you know, scraping away at it. Then, once you scrape it all up, you want to chop it up into little fine. Like, this is all the powder. It's just really, really, really fine. You want to keep working at it until all the big chunks are gone. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Then, alcohol. I just grabbed mine from Dollar General. I don't know if the different alcohol matters. This is the only one that I've always used. This is what I trust. is what we use in the house. So this is what I use. I put some alcohol on there. And then I mixed it up. It forms almost like like a paste. You want to mix it up really, really good. And make sure anything that's loose powder is mixed in there. Then I laid it all flat. Smoothed it down the best I could. Which wasn't very smooth. But that's okay because that don't matter. Then what you want to do is, I use toilet paper because it's what I had right now. I usually like to use um, the cotton pads. I think that's what they're called. <laughs> they're like the cotton balls, but they're flat. And then you want to press it and get it up as much alcohol as you can to try and soak that up. Let's see the alcohol go through the tissue. So you want to soak it up as best you can. Then when it's all done and you, you know, you got it pretty good soaked up, you're just going to leave it for 24 hours. <laughs> Usually if you soak it up pretty good, I mean, I can do it before bed and in the morning it'll be alright, but the best bet is to wait 24 hours so that way you don't fuck up your powder or you don't end up with way too much on the brush or any of that stuff and have to redo it all over again. <laughs> but, yeah, I wanted to do this quick little video. I know a lot of people know how to do it, but... I figured I'd get it out there for anybody that didn't. Um, so, um, I'm gonna probably write down in the description down here. No. I'm gonna make another video tomorrow of the giveaway winner for my giveaway that I had. Um, and let you guys know who won. And, um, go from there. I love you all, and I will see you guys in my next video.